Services will no longer be needed. You are most decidedly not welcome. Make the cherry soda undiet. Sweet! Yes, it should be sweeter. No, I meant sweet as in that's cool. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Next time I'll just say awesome. Drake, do you think this drawing of a newt will work for the eye of newt? Give it a shot, and let's hope that supernatural science is not as literal as real science. It appears to be a list containing information about the prisoner. It's nice to know Shroudy's mother was so thorough. I'm sure it's hard to take good notes while you're busy torturing somebody. She must have been an excellent multitasker. It says, prisoner identified as Irish tourist Shannon O'Doherty. Initially observed as member of local nunnery tourist exchange. The nuns only arrange tours for the most pious of individuals. Virginity has been confirmed. Her blood is exactly what I need to help unlock the mystery of the Book of Shrouds. That's terrible! Why would anyone need blood? It looks like the control to the walkway. The handle looks old and rusted. I wonder if it's still working. I'll see if I can lower it. The walkway isn't coming down. It looks like the controls are broken. It's the frail remains of one of the late Baroness's prisoners. Fortrick, help me ferry those bones to safety. Sure, no problem. We better not try and grab them. You see how fragile they are? The moment we disturb them, they'll tumble into the demonic goo. You're right. I guess we'll just have to find some other way to retrieve those bones. It's a wooden walkway that spans a chasm. We can't do much walking on it when it's stuck way up there.
the liquid in the hot beaker turn purple. The liquid in the diamond beaker turned bright orange. Interesting. The liquid in the clover beaker turned bright green. It's a Bunsen burner, a small stove used to heat things. It worked! It worked! Uh, now what? It's a Bunsen burn. This must be the control valve for the Bunsen burner. Mona, wait. Here's the plan. As you turn up the gas, we're going to leap into the air. That way, in the unfortunate event of an explosion, its force will carry us safely away instead of incinerating us at ground zero. Explosions are so exciting. All right, ready? One, two, three. Dang, that's one lame flame. Aren't mixing. How can we make this cauldron hotter? Add fishnet stockings and high heels.
that stuff, but it's got quite a kick. Kind of reminds me of the bat shine my Uncle Jesse used to make. I remember this one time. I brought a jar of it to a party. All I really remember is taking the first couple of sips. Then the next thing you know, it's five hours later, I'm in a complete stranger's belfry, I suddenly have this new tattoo, and to top it all off, my pants are missing. This sounds like an incredibly touching story, but I'm afraid we don't have time to hear it right now. Look, Fodrick! It's boiling! It has turned bright red! It worked! the magic acid we made on those columns. Bones the skeleton made when it collapsed. Let's just get what we need and get out of here. Go! Back? Stay back, I say. I don't wish to harm me, but I'll do so if you leave me no choice. What now? Can't anything ever be easy? It's some kind of ghost. I'd call her a banshee. Or more specifically, a really pissed off Irish banshee. <laughs> 